God, there's probably two words that I really hate in the English language. The first one is we, especially when it's used by a person that's too cowardly to stand by a statement. So they say we in order to appear that there are other people agreeing with them. Uh, and the other one is normalize. Like if you have to use the word normalize, it's probably abnormal, right? Like you probably know that it's something that's not normal. And there's usually a good reason on why that is not normal. But you know what? Maybe this is a case where I'm wrong. Maybe this is like one of those cases where the word normalized is being used properly. So let's see. Normalized sending the other family money for play dates. So recently my daughter had a friend over. And By the way, I actually fact check if this is true or not. Because you can't say, you know, like it's the internet. Most people point things for clicks. Like they, they want to, to get views. Um, from what I can gather, this is legit, all right? Like, this is not a person just making a bit. I may be wrong and never know for sure, but, like, this may be genuine. And I asked her mom for money, and this is how it went. So after the play date, I texted her mom, and I said, thanks for letting Jamie play today. Please help out with your share of the expenses for the play date, totaling $15 via Venmo. Let's do it again sometime because I can't keep doing these play dates if it's so expensive. And she said, expenses? And I said, yeah, she used supplies and food while she was here. And this way we can do this more often without a monetary obligation on just one party, right? Makes sense. Now she didn't say much, but she did say what supplies. And of course I wrote them down. Wait, 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 okay, okay. Sat on couch, wear and tear, $1. Three trips to the bathroom. Wow. Did she went to the Scrooge McDuck's house? Broke an LOL doll. What? What is an LOL doll? LOL doll. Five dollars? I see. There was chalk, applesauce, fruit. She sat on the couch, so that's wear and tear. She actually broke a toy. She had three juice boxes. She went to the bathroom. She had yogurt. Then she actually sent the money and I sent her a message thanking her for it, of course. She didn't say anything else, but I said, you know, this will make it easier for us to do more play dates in the future. So what do you guys think? I think this is Bidenomics. I think this is the absolute state of the United States of America under the Democratic yoke. If you're going to Scrooge McDuck over 15 bucks, and in fact, you're even going to add stuff just to try and raise it all the way to the round number of fifteen dollars, like you're you're adding the trips to the bathroom and you're adding the couch wet and tear. I think you're you're going to be a horrible parrot. I'm sorry to say, like I, it's not nice to say it to anyone, but like from this description, I think your daughter is going to come up to you one day and is going to be like, "Mom, why do I have no friends coming over?" And you're going to be like, "Well, you know that wet and tear on the couch." Not to mention, okay, so like. If you sit on a couch one day and it causes wear and tear of the value of one dollar, right? Now, now let's assume like three people are sitting on the couch on one day. Like you're going to take your investment from that couch pretty fast, aren't you? Again, I, I don't know the buy the dynamics now, the how expensive a couch is, but but I assume like you're overcharging for this. You know, um. I get it, you know, seriously, I do, but like usually these things, if, if you want to be like that, you have to negotiate in advance, like, like you're supposed to tell the parent, it's like, hey, next time that your daughter is coming over, I plan on buying uh, juice boxes and stuff, and, uh, you know, if you're going to pitch in, that would be great, because like, yeah, like that would be one way to do it, if, if you're literally like Scrooge McDuck. And the other way to do it would be, I don't know, like, that kid comes over your place, and they're having fun. And then your kid goes over there, and they're having fun. And how would you like it if that mother then charges you 15 bucks, right? Like, don't you think it would be pretty annoying? I, I think, like, the PayPal app, or Vidbo, or whatever you use, right? Like, they would take a large chunk of this. Like, if you give 15 bucks... And then they give 15 bucks, and then you give 15 bucks, right? Depending on where that kid went through that particular day. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a good idea. No, I, I think, like, this is why you want to normalize, because it's not normal. And I think I gave, like, some pretty solid reasons as to why it is not normal. 
Jesus, like, I can't even imagine what I would do if a parent would send me something like this, like, unironically. Because, like, on one hand, the kid doesn't have anything to blame, right? Like, your daughter didn't do anything wrong, and she's friends with, with my daughter, so, like, you don't really want to break their friendship over the fact that they have a difficult parent. But on the other hand, I also wouldn't want them to keep going to your place, because then I keep having to pay 50 bucks. I'm not a rich person. Like, I'm not shitting gold, right? So... I might as well. I think, like I would say, you know what? From this day forward, the the play dates are organized at my place for free. Yeah, normalize this. Yeah, I, I I'm willing to bet like she doesn't expect to pay, right? Like like seriously, this is the vibe I'm getting. Like if you're normalizing this and, and you're fine with like every single time another kid comes to your place, you're going to uh, be like a debt collector to their parents, right? You're going to bet the that shit. I I get it, but. What happens when your kid goes and then plays with like four other kids that day, right? And they go from house to house to house. Well, that's fifteen dollars time four, lady. Are you going to cough it up? <laughs> oh my god! Even the restaurants don't charge you for the couch when and there. You know, like at least at least like have the common sense and take this one dollar here and put it into the broken LOL doll. Like like make it six dollars here so that they don't get to see the couch when and there. It looks bad. It's bad optics. Not good on camera. Hopefully this will make it easier for us to do these play dates more often. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, you know, like, if it's profitable for you. Like, how much is it? Okay, so $15 per day times 30. Jesus fucking Christ, that, that's like a business. Like, you're, you're, you know, you don't have to open your lemonade stand. And, uh, by the way, are you paying taxes for this? Is, is the government going to charge you for this? I hope you're not skimming your taxes if you're going to charge other people $15 for... The privilege of having their daughter play with yours. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... it's but, the, you know, like, asking the internet as well, that's another thing. Like, you, you must know. You must know at some level that it's inappropriate what you did. That this is not normal. It reminds me of the case in Sweden where some uh, immigrants were complaining that they went to... Uh, another person's uh, party and they didn't get food, right? They went for a sleepover or something and the, the, the host didn't provide them with food. And they're like, well, in our country, they do provide it with food. And this is white privilege. And then the press ran with it. And it's like, we're shaving uh, the Swedish people, the old Swedes, for uh, not, not uh, preparing food for the, the guests, right? It's kind of like that. Kind of in that same area. Kind of the same vibe. But yeah, all in all, I think it's because the economy is shit. You know, but maybe this lady is a Scrooge, but I, I do think that maybe the economy is so shit that she has to resort to these embarrassing tactics that even she is unsure if they're good or not, so she's asking the internet. So yeah, let me know what you think, and as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.